That's why United Healthcare is offering more plans than ever, including the only Medicare Advantage plans that carry the AARP name. Like a new PPO plan that lets you pay in-network costs anywhere you go within our Medicare National Network. Perfect for travelers. And another new plan offers a give back yearly on your Medicare Part B premium. Call today. You could get up to $1,500 for comprehensive dental care, a $0 copay on yearly eye exams, and more. All for a low or $0 monthly premium. The Medicare annual enrollment period is here. So let United Healthcare's local agents help you find a plan that's right for you. Perfecto. Joyo. <laughs> awesome. More choice for more of what you want. That's Medicare designed for Southern California. Call today. Diamonds at their lowest prices in years. One carat solitaires just $7.99, two carat $18.90, one carat studs $5.99. Thousands of GIA diamonds guaranteed the lowest price. Don't miss these deals. The Jewelry Exchange, Tustin. NBC4 News at 5 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news tonight is in Norwalk as we take live pictures of a neighborhood standoff right now. We want to thank you for being with us. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Anusha Rasta in for Kathy Vara tonight. Let's get right up to Roland Sproul overhead in News Chopper 4. Roland. Anusha, Jonathan, this drama all unfolding uh, here in Norwalk, the 12300 block of Allard Street. And I'm going to be very judicious about what I focus in on uh, because uh, I don't want to give away the positions of any SWAT officers down below. Uh, but all eyes appear to be focused on one of these two homes right here. Now, details are very sketchy, but what we know uh, is that they have been here on this barricaded suspect uh, for several hours, actually, now. I, I remember coming in uh, to work about 2.30, and this was all going on. We don't know what this individual uh, is alleged to have done, uh, but again, this is a, a very very uh, tense situation uh, as uh, completely surrounded here in the Norwalk area. We'll continue to monitor this situation and bring you the very latest as that information becomes available to us. We're live overhead at News Chopper 4, Roland Sproul for NBC4 News. Roland, thank you for that. And we'll continue to stay on top of that as well. Robert Luna, the new L.A. County Sheriff, was officially sworn in today in downtown L.A., though he doesn't officially take the job until Monday at noon. NBC4's Lauren Coronado spoke with Luna about his plans for his new role. I promise I'll work very hard every day to reach our goals and make each and every one of you very proud. In a room full of sheriff's deputies, local leaders, friends, and family, Ouch. No. Sheriff-elect Robert Luna took his oath to serve as L.A. County's 34th That's sheriff. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Described by his supporters as a good man and a man of faith, the sheriff-elect highlighted three key principles in which he will use to lead the nation's largest sheriff's department, integrity, accountability, and collaboration. If we embrace these three principles, I know we can be in a better place tomorrow than where we are today. And I'm very optimistic about the future of this department. Before that, a heartfelt speech delivered by his daughters. He's all around good. And I think every law enforcement agency needs good. We all believe in you. We have your back and know that you are going to do so well. Congratulations. And after that swearing in ceremony, a reception was held here at Grand Park. I got to talk with the sheriff elect about his term, which officially begins Monday at noon. Number one is to stabilize the department and really start getting to know people, listen, learn, absorb. He says by assessing all department operations. What are we good at? What do we need to improve on? As he begins his journey as the 34th sheriff of the LA County Sheriff's Department. People voted for me to get in here and they wanted uh, accountability, they wanted new leadership and I'm ready to roll. Lauren Coronado, NBC4 News. To watch Sheriff Luna's entire speech from today's swearing-in ceremony, just go to our website, NBCLA.com, and it'll be right there on the homepage. Well, new at 5, the sun is setting on a longtime L.A. tradition that dates back to the 1940s. By the end of this month, the pony rides over at Griffith Park will be shut in.